I'll tell you, partner, I cannot believe the business we did this weekend. They just about cleared us out of liquor. <laughs> really? Maybe next time we'll double the order. Maybe we can get a price break. There you go. Now you're starting to think like a businessman. So how does it feel to be part of the uh, hottest club in Santa Barbara, huh? Not too bad. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> uh, sorry, we're closed. Yeah, I could read. But I'm here on business. Oh, yeah, what kind of business is that? I'd like to discuss your insurance and security situation with you. See if you're covered. Well, uh, this one pretty much got that handled. Uh, I got plenty of insurance and a good security <laughs> system. What my company offers is protection against accidents. Accidents your policy probably does not include. The big, unexpected things, and we cover them 100%, no deductible. Well, look, thanks anyway, but uh, I don't think we're interested. Sure you are. Or you will be when I get through explaining. Are you with me? Yeah, well, uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think you're talking protection, not insurance, right? a boy. You're catching on. Got my hair done special, do you like it? I think it looks great. Oh, I also picked up a brandied fruitcake to bring over to your father this evening. Are you still picking me up at 7? Wait, now, this is just a visit to say hello, okay? Let's not make a big deal out of this. Well, it's just that I don't get invited home to meet someone's father very often. Yeah, but he's only my father. He's not the Pope. I think you've got an exaggerated idea of what he's like. I don't care what he's like. I just want him to like me. Well, he will. Who wouldn't? Just don't expect too much out of him, okay? I know you two haven't always gotten along. Well, sometimes it's as if we're talking from two different countries over a bad connection. Well, maybe tonight will be different. Well, look, my dad is okay. It's just that sometimes he does things that drive me a little crazy, that's all. I mean, I've been known to turn into somebody that I don't even recognize. Let's hope I can avoid that tonight. What are you planning now? Darling, I don't want to hear that note of dread in your voice. I've decided to start the new year off very nicely by getting deeply involved in business. In business? Yes. But I can't do it alone. I need somebody with me who I can trust implicitly. So I'm offering the job to you, my love. Me? Jeffrey already has a job. Yes, I know. I know, and it would mean leaving Delta Pharmaceuticals. But it would be worth it because... I'm not offering him just a job. Together, Jeffrey and I can build an empire. What are you doing? Packing. Does that mean we're going somewhere? Aren't we? Well, we still got a couple of days here still, I thought. Well, I just assumed because of this job that... Oh, baby. Look, they told me they'll know when he's entered the country. They won't know the place or how he'll get in, but they're intercepting and decoding messages all the time, so they will be able to pinpoint the moment. And Richard says it shouldn't be any sooner than a week. So there's time? Yeah, we got lots of time. You know, let's... Let's not quit having fun. Let's... Let's go down to the bay and uh, snorkel a little more. I love it down there. And then we could hit the restaurant and pig out. Sounds great. You change, OK? OK. Our people have been keeping in touch this place since it opened. We figured you must have made about 20 grand in profit so far, am I right? Look, what our profits are is really none of your business. And 10% of that would be 2,000. By this evening. In cash. Okay? Hey, Calvin, why don't you just get out of town, okay? In exchange for that, our men will make sure that uh, no unfortunate accidents happen here in this cozy little club. Hey, look, tough guy, I've had enough of this extortion rack from you, okay? So why don't you just beat it, huh? You think first, pretty boy. It's not just what the guys I work with would do to you if something would happen to me. It's what they do to you and him and all your loved ones. Look, just back off right here. Come on. My address is on this. Just make sure the money gets there to me tonight by 7. 
After that, we'll arrange for weekly pickups, so you don't have to worry about making deliveries. And I want you to know, we do appreciate your business. One more thing. If you guys decide to go to the cops, everything you're insuring against <laughs> can happen all at once. Do we understand one another? Any questions? Uh, I don't believe it. Uh, there's no way we're gonna stand for that kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, we're sitting on top of the best thing we've ever come across, right? We're gonna let that little geek muscle in on it? No way. Yeah, let's look on the bright side, okay? We've got organized crime seal of approval here. If they didn't think we had a good thing going, they wouldn't be here. Yeah, terrific. What are you doing? Hey, I'm gonna go take care of this. Don't, okay? I mean, you don't want to mess with guys like this. Let's just get a hold of somebody who can handle this kind of situation. Come on, man. I mean, he's not organized crime. He just tries to sound like that. He's probably some two-bit hood that tries to shake down people with a lot of talk. It's probably a part-time job for the guy. Listen to me, TJ. You know, when my dad worked at the track, training horses, guys like this showed up all the time to try to fix the races. One time, a jockey got both his legs broken. You just got out of a cast. You don't want the same thing to happen to you, do you? I mean, you know, maybe a permanent one. All I'm saying is just listen to me, all right? I know somebody I can talk to. I'm gonna call him up. Just stay put, all right? Promise? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be right back. Good morning, Mr. Garber. Hi. You're here to get a physical for your new job, is that right? Well, I've had all the rest. I'm just here for the blood test now. That's where I come in. Do your needles bother you? Uh, no. Good. So, what kind of job are you going to be doing? Uh, it's in the uh, security field uh, with a private firm. Oh, security sounds dangerous. Have we met before? You look very familiar. Well, uh, no, well, not exactly. You were at the opening for the lair, weren't you? Yes, yes, that's it. Mm. Well, I went with some of the nurses, and I just thought I'd tag along. I remember you. You were standing off to the side. Yeah, that's me, all right. <laughs> well, did you enjoy it? I mean, you didn't seem to dance much. I'm not much of a dancer. Oh. It's not terminal or hopeless or anything. Well, uh, I'm sure it's not. I was going to ask you to dance that night, but I, uh, I kind of lost my nerve. Oh, well, maybe we'll run into each other again there sometime. How about tonight? Ah, that's a little abrupt, isn't it? I'm sorry. <laughs> a little. <laughs> I just thought if you, you weren't doing anything, maybe... Oh, I'm busy. I, I'm going to fill in for one of the girls tonight on the night shift. Right. But it, if it's okay, if you want, we can go for an early supper. And as long as I'm back here by 7. You'd like to do that? Yes. Provided you survive my trusty needle. <laughs> well... And it's adjusting a little bit. Something tells me I'm not going to feel okay. I decided to take most of the money from my oil well and invest it in several other wells. That's the operation I want you to manage, Jeffrey. I think you'd be far more suited to that than publicity campaigns for cosmetics. You've been doing very well with those campaigns, Pamela. Oh, yes, I'm sure. Jeffrey always excels at anything he tries. What about Kelly? I really love working with her. I'd miss that. Yes, I know, darling. But I can offer you a substantial raise You'll be making three times what you're making more. And much, much more when the company gets off the ground. But you know, I, I don't know the first thing about managing an oil drilling company. I mean, what do I know about that? Yes, I know that, darling, but you learn very quickly. I've already engaged advisors who've been in the oil business all their lives. Let's, let's just say they were dissatisfied with their previous employers. They can fill you in. They can fill you in on anything you need to know. And what do you say? Well, I don't know. I mean, like you said, I'd have to think about it, obviously. It's not something one can just jump into. I don't want you to jump, darling, but I do want you to make your decision quite quickly. Um, why is there such a rush? Because I want to put all the pieces into place. Once I make up my mind to do anything, I just want to forge ahead. I hope you do decide to do it, darling, because I just don't know how I'm going to manage without you. I'm counting on you, Kelly. 
talk him into it. Мы с Деннисом Бордоном проработали на бровой вышке 20 лет и пропустили не... How's he supposed to live? What is he supposed to do the rest of his life? You're going way ahead of yourself. Let the man stabilize first. Then we'll have a better idea of what to expect. Long range, okay? Yeah, yeah, long range. Sure, sure. And then there's this woman who waltzes into his room and offers him a hundred thousand dollars. A miserable hundred thousand dollars. How far is that supposed to go, huh? He's, he's got to support his family for the rest of his life. Plus medical bills. How do his boys go to college? And how's Ellen supposed to find some qualified nurse so she can go to work? I thought it was a generous offer, Dad. A generous offer, huh? Is that what you call it? You know something? You've gotten so that you even think like the rich. Money buys everything, right? They cut corners on safety conditions, and then they try to buy off the people who get hurt. That isn't true. I don't think like that. Yeah? Well, sometimes I wonder if you think at all. Why are you on my case all of a sudden? I didn't cause the fire, you know. Uh-huh, but you can't help the man. And you think that $100,000 is a very generous offer. It wasn't a settlement. She, he didn't sign anything. She gave it to him. He could still sue her, I guess. You guess? What are you, some kind of a lawyer now, too? Oh, jeez. Once the man cashes that check, who knows what he's giving up? You know, I can't win with you. I don't want your legal advice. I want your medical advice. What can you do for the man now? I don't know what I can do. Why don't you give me a chance to find out? Look, I, I, I'm very sorry to interrupt, but let me give you my condolences. It was one of your family no, members no, caught in this fire. No, fire. Gina, Gina, this is my father. He came here to visit a friend who was on the rig. Oh, your father, Mr. Clark, so nice to meet you. I, I, I've heard so much about you. Dad, this is Gina Capwell. Yeah, yeah. Do, uh, do I know you from someplace before? Oh, I don't think so. You look very familiar to me. Uh... Well, I've got one of those faces. Oh, People are always wait telling me. Wait a minute, me. wait a minute, wait a minute. Sure, sure. Capwell, yeah, yeah. I've seen your picture in the papers, yeah. Well, I hope you don't believe everything you read. At least not about me. So you're a Capwell, huh? She's an ex-Capwell. And before you say any more, let me explain, okay? I was going to bring Gina by to meet you today. I told you that I was seeing somebody, right? Well, Gina is that person. You're seeing a cap, well, You? Hey, where you been? Promise me you would... TJ, oh my God, I mean, what happened? All right, all right, look, just don't say anything, Yeah, okay? but your face, look at that, man. We should take you to the hospital. No, I don't need a hospital. I need a doctor. It's just a couple of bruises. It'll be okay in about a week. A week? I think my pride's gonna take a little longer, though, man. You were right. I mean, I go and try to take care of this guy, and he's got some thyroid case standing on his side. Well, I, uh, I tried to explain things to him, but what do you say to a guy that's got a 50-word vocabulary, man? You drive me crazy. You know, if you're gonna go out and play tough guy, at least you're gonna do is tell me so I can go with you. Oh, yeah. So, so you got both our heads bashed then? Look, you want anything? Nah. I'd like a little bit of ice and lie down for maybe about a month. I'll be all right. Yeah, why don't you go in the back and do that? I gotta see somebody. Well, well hold on. Where are you going? Look, I'm just gonna put a stop to this thing the right way. As long as you can. I mean it. You should really go for a little dress or something. Yeah, well, we go for records in bed all the time. Why not? Oh, my hair, Mom. Oh, my. What, did we do it like bunnies for five years and we still can't get enough? We can't get enough! God, we're totally not going to get into the country club now. That's okay. We, uh... <laughs> we're going to get in anyway. Is that guy? Yeah, it's him. I'll be back. Just a second. I was going to call your room, but I didn't want to disturb you. I'll do it. Welcome aboard.
Has he entered the country yet? No, not yet. So I can continue my vacation? For the time being. We'll let you know when he enters. Standard procedure. And once I'm in the field, who do I report to? No one. Until you find him. And then you'll call this number. It's a local Santa Barbara number. Someone is there 24 hours a day. Okay, well, look, I'll tell you what. I'll, um, I'll do some snooping around. So just give me the address and I'll get started. Look, uh, I don't want you to fight my battles for me. That's not why I came here. I, I just want some advice so I know how to handle it. I understand that. I know you can take care of yourself. I just, I can't advise you unless I know what you're up against. No, I just want, don't want a repeat of what happened to TJ, you know? Well, don't worry about that. I'm uh, real good at keeping from hurting myself. So just give me the address, okay? Great. Okay, now you just go back to work and forget about it. I know exactly what to do. Yeah, well, be careful, all right? Thanks. Well, don't thank me. I haven't done anything yet. So you do want to make a change? Well, look, it's not a bad time to do it. I mean, the Beast campaign is going well. I'm not so far into this new shaving line that I couldn't be replaced. Well, I, I, I guess anyone can be replaced if you're going to put it that way. Baby, what is it? You don't care that much about my getting out of cosmetics. All right. I don't like what your mother's doing, Jeffrey, and I don't like the way she's doing it. Look, she's just trying to make some money. That's all. She wants her family around her because she, she knows is using because the she money knows that she can trust them. All right? Jeffrey, you heard her. She has found all these people who didn't like their former employer's ethics, which means she is able to hire away all these people who have been loyal to my father for years. That is outright corporate raiding. Now, is that ethical to you? Well, then be angry with the so-called loyal ones. They're the ones betraying your father, not Pamela. I mean, she just doesn't think twice about stepping in and, and changing our lives. I suppose she's changing them for the better. Well, I think that remains to be seen. Well, I think we could at least afford to give this a chance. Okay. All right, that's fine. I trust you, and I trust that you'll make the right decision. I'm counting on it. How serious is it between you and my son? Well, we've only actually known each other a couple of months. But it seems like longer. I guess because we get along so well. You were married to old C.C. Capwell, huh? Twice. I guess I'm just a glutton for punishment. The man's had more wives than a Chinese emperor. Uh, I'm not like any of the other Mrs. Capwells you've heard about. Yeah, well, listen, tell me something. Help me out here. I mean, a, a woman like yourself in your social circles, how do you meet uh, my son? How is that possible? Well, I met him here at the hospital after my accident. I've never met anyone so wonderful and, and caring as your son. If it weren't for Scott, I don't know how I could have gotten through all this. Yeah, yeah. Well, he has a way of uh, helping people who are in trouble. But you're out of the hospital. What do you want from him now? Want from him? I don't know what you mean. We just care about each other. Gina, Earl is here and he's asking for you. Oh, I was just having such a nice talk with your father. Earl Engel? Yeah, he was uh, temporarily blinded by the fire. Gina's been helping him out a lot. Earl and I go way back. He's a good man. I was just helping him get over the shock of losing his sight, but he's going to be all right. I should go give Earl a talk. It's awfully nice to meet you, Mr. Clark. Sure, thank you. I'll give Earl your best. All right. Yeah? I'm here to see your boss. I've got some security business to discuss with him. He ain't seeing nobody. Let him in, Angelo. He's clean. I was sent over here to tell you you made a big mistake. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What mistake is that? Well, you played a little visit to a club called The Lair today. You offered them some insurance. That's right. You're here to pay up? No, I'm here to warn you. See, one of the owners of the place, a man who put up quite a bit of money, the man I think you've heard of before. He and his family aren't too happy with it. You know what I mean? 
So these guys send you to tell me? <laughs> You're not even carrying a gun. Oh, you see, when you work for this organization, you don't have to pack anything. Because if I don't show up in an hour, your lives are worth about as much as the garbage you've been shoving down your throats. Hey, I, I, I don't want anything to do with these guys. They're bad news. He's right. So what do you want? I just want you and your clown friends here to stay away from the lair. And then I'll go back and I'll tell my boss that you were very cooperative. You made a few adjustments and you fixed the problem. He'll be very happy. Thank you. If you'd rather go somewhere else, that'd be fine. No, why? Well, I just thought maybe... You look a little uncomfortable. No, no, I'm, I'm not... No. A little, maybe. <laughs> well, it didn't have to be this fancy. I would have said yes to a hamburger. I thought you'd like it. I do. I was just thinking about you. Oh, no, I'm, I'm fine, really. Just hunky-dory. <laughs> I'm, look, excuse me. Um, I've spent a lot of time isolated up in the mountains, away from things like restaurants and nightclubs, and I'm, <laughs> I'm just not good with new people. So you just came to Santa Barbara, too? About five months ago. Five months? And you still haven't gotten used to civilization. <laughs> I know, it, it sounds wacky. I don't know, maybe, maybe it isn't that as much as... Um, dating. Oh, I see. <laughs> Are you nervous? Uh, a little. <laughs> Do I make you nervous? No, 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 you're fine. No, I like you. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, no, <laughs> I'm glad you're here. I, I just, I don't, I don't know how to act or what to say or do or so. It's not a test, you know. Uh -huh. I mean, it's just a date. What is the worst thing that could happen? We'd hate each other, and we'd never go out to dinner again. I don't think I'm gonna hate you. Well, that's good. That's what I was counting on. Well, I got a few minutes off. So, what do you think of Gina? Certainly run your tail off around here, don't they? Well, it always seems like we're short-staffed, and then something like this fire comes up, and... Yeah. So, what do you think of Gina? How come she has an Italian name? Is Gina especially Italian? I never thought about it. Yeah, it's especially Italian, yeah. I asked you about her, not her name. Listen, tell me something. What are you doing with a woman that's in the newspapers all the time? A Capwell. She's a good person, Dad. She didn't belong with those people. I like her. She's older than you are. I like her. I like her. I like her. Is that all you got to say to me? What else matters? People talk. I've heard things about her. I don't listen to gossip. You don't listen to me either. Why don't you find somebody else? What is it with you? I didn't ask you for permission to go out with her, Dad. You come in here, you tell me how to live, and then you tell me who to love. So now you're calling it love? Well, what if I am? Listen, Scotty, do I... Look, kid, I, I don't want you to get into this thing over your head. I mean, uh, the woman's been married. I mean, how many times? Three or four? Look at the crowd she runs around with. She told me that she, she met you here in the hospital only a couple of months ago, and now all of a sudden you're talking love to me. How long do I have to know her dad before I can talk love? <sighs> Listen, you don't have to... Why do you have to fall in love? Huh? Dad, Just, just lay back, kid. Listen, you... you Play the field. Well, just listen. So why do you have to get married? You have kids, you sally yourself. Will you knock it off, please? Dad, will you please just let me make my own decisions? You know, you and I have never been able to agree on what was best for me. Why should we start now? Sweetheart. Oh, my God. <coughs> okay. Uh, 
I was dreaming. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. This is the Simon, isn't it? No, baby, I'm okay, really. I'm, I'm fine. We can't keep doing this. What am I doing? Pretending none of this is happening. Pretending none of it's going on. I know what you're doing. You are trying to be nice and everything, trying to keep it from me. But, you know, a long time ago, we told each other that we'd be honest with each other. And if this is weighing so heavily on your mind, you've got to share it with me. I know. I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since it came up again. You're worried. Well, it's not that so much. It's just, there were so many things that I, I had forgotten about, things that I never expected I'd have to start thinking about again. You know? As tough as these last few months have been, they're really nothing compared to some of the stuff that went down when I was an agent. I thought that was some of the most exciting times in your life. Well, exciting is maybe not exactly the right word. You see, when you're involved in espionage, you do things sometimes that you're not proud of. You have to. It's like you're a soldier and you can't fulfill your assignment. You can't stay alive sometimes. I mean, you, you just, you're forced into doing things that you normally wouldn't even consider. It's different. I knew you when you were in Europe. Oh, before Europe. Harry and I were all over Asia and Africa. They sent us into the worst hell holes you can imagine. The stuff They made us close, let's put it that way. And I've done a real good job of forgetting about all that. Until now. What can I do for you? Hold me. Не понимаю, почему. Okay, fine. That's what you want? I guess that's what I want. Nobody you were right. It was small time, just like you thought. Kane didn't even have to pull a gun. You're kidding me, so what'd he do? <laughs> Told him he was from some big organized crime family and that they didn't back off, you know, that was it. And they went for it. Yeah. Maybe. You mean maybe? They haven't been back, have they? Look, Jake, it's the same day, all right? I mean, they could be back tomorrow, next week, who knows? Yeah, they won't. Don't worry. Are you sure I can't check these guys out? I mean, they're not connected with anybody? <laughs> I, I can't figure you out. You know, this morning you're gangbusters to get these guys. Now, all of a sudden, you're worried. Uh, look, man, I learned the hard way, okay? I had to tangle with them. <sighs> all right, so... So maybe they didn't come back, maybe they're not gonna come back, all right. But I don't think we should get too comfortable, you know? You never know. Well, see, 
Seven o'clock, right on the nose. <laughs> just like I promised. Thank you. And thanks for dinner. I really meant for us to go Dutch. No, no, it's okay. I, uh, I wanted to do it. Well, good luck with your new job. <laughs> thanks. Sounds exciting. Thanks a lot. Uh, I hope I didn't talk your ear off about it. It's no. not something I want to do forever. Find something different for the long run. What do you have in mind? I don't know. Something like you do, something that helps people. I'm not sure what yet. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, why don't you think you're going to be helping people doing security work? You're going to be protecting them. Yeah, I guess. I, but, um... But what? Well, with this new job, I'm going to... I'm going to have to carry a gun. I'm not oh. too crazy about that idea. Oh, I see. Are you a pacifist? Let's just say I've had enough of guns. Vietnam? Yeah. I've had some patients that feel the same way. They just want to forget. Have you seen a lot of people get killed? Enough. No, I'm sorry. It must have been terrible. Yeah. That's why I admire what you've chosen to do for your living. If I could find something like that, maybe... Maybe it would help me feel better about all the killing. Uh, I'm sorry. I, di I didn't mean to get into this. Is it? No, 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 no. It's okay. I... I just wish I had more time. I've got to change and get back to work. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe we can do it again. Well, I'd love to. That'd be nice. I had a great time. Um, oh, I... I, I, had, I had a good time, too. Look, I, I promise next time I won't draw blood. <laughs> okay. Bye. Thanks. Kevin, would you like a brandy? Oh, no, thank you. <clears throat> is, is Jeffrey back? Yes, he's in the shower. Oh, I'm glad we have this moment of two alone, because I want to talk you into convincing Jeffrey to take the job I've offered him. He hasn't given you an answer? Not yet. Uh, you know, I'd really like Jeffrey to make up his own mind, Pamela. I don't want to exert any influence either way. I see. Then I take it you're not in favor of this. That's a pity. I was hoping we're on the same side. Oh, I'm on Jeffrey's side. I, uh, whatever he wants is fine with me. Well, I promise you, this will be a golden opportunity for him. Yes, it could possibly, yeah. Yes, it will be. And you must know that advertising isn't really Jeffrey's forte. Well, no, I can't say that uh, I think that. But, um, listen, Pamela, I, I really don't want to get in the middle of this. Look, Kelly, dear. I don't want you to pressurize him. Most men would resist that. They insist on making their own decisions. It's a point of honor almost. But I do know that women have the power to suggest. That's really, really all I'm asking you to do. I, I understand. Um, I'd like to go take a shower myself. Excuse me. What did your father say that upset you so much? It's just attitude, basically. You know, we used to be real close. Then I went off to med school and something happened. I don't know what it was. It's just like we're not friends anymore. We're just not close anymore. I would think your father would be proud that you're a doctor. Yeah, wouldn't you? It's like I insulted him. Like I said, that working on oil rigs wasn't good enough for me. I keep telling myself, you know, just knock it off. Quit trying so hard. But I can't. I want so much to do something that he likes. Damn it. Why do I keep at it? Why don't I just walk away? Because family's important. I mean, I wish I had my mother back. Even though she was awfully hard on me. You gotta make peace with your parents while you can. Because once they're gone... I feel like I've done my best. He's still my father. He always will be. For a long time now, I feel like I just haven't been his son. What's wrong? Nothing. I don't even want to get into it. Let's just go to the symphony and try to enjoy it. Have a good time. What is it? Brahms? 
Little Brahms and Sibelius, all played by our tiny symphony orchestra. Hey, hey, would you rather not do this? Oh, Jeffrey, please, I can see your mother's face if we decide to back out. But if you don't feel up to it, no, don't no, worry no, about it. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I would like to know if you made a decision about the job yet. I know I promised that I wouldn't butt in, but I really want to know. Oh, I'm not, I'm not positive yet. I think you are. If you've already made up your mind, you just don't want to tell me. Oh, why would I do something like that? Besides, you said you would go along with whatever my decision was, didn't you? I know what I said. So you're going to take it, aren't you? Hey, look, why don't we just try it? Okay, if it, if it doesn't work out, I'll quit. I'll go back to the noble art of trying to persuade men to smell good. Hmm? All right, all right. Fine. You hate it, huh? You're totally against it. No, baby, I told you. I said if that's what I, you I know what do, you said, fine. but I'm asking you to stand behind it now. Okay, let, let's just give this a fair chance. Six months, at least, okay? Fine, I said fine. Will you stop Jeffrey. saying fine and agree with me truthfully? How's six months? Baby, let's get hey, How home. is six it's, months? It's a long time. Six weeks, then. Is that fair? Yeah, it's better. I... If you know what, I don't even think it's gonna take that long. I think we'll know in about six days. Cruz? Hey, baby, you won't believe what these geckles... Oh, I'm sorry. This is Reverend Molito. He's agreed to marry us. Oh. Well, Reverend Molito, nice to meet you. We were waiting for the most romantic spot on earth, you know, and I thought to myself, well, this is a romantic spot. And I thought, why wait? I mean, we could go back home, we'd be husband and wife. Well, Eden, I'll what? Tell I, you. I, no, no, look, I know that I didn't talk to you about this. I, I, well, you know, and it might have been nice, because after all, it is my marriage, too, you understand? Well, yeah. You have five seconds. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I only need to. Yes, I want to marry you. No, you don't want to do it now. Okay. Well, that's okay, Miss Capwell. This happens in islands all the time. Aloha, and you know where to find me. Thank you. Nice to meet you. So, aren't we full of surprises? I send you out from academia, and that's you come back with the preacher. Must have had too much sun. Too many Mai Tais, maybe? I guess I got tired of waiting. We agreed to wait. Yeah, but that was before, you know... Before my new assignment. Yeah, well, before you might get hurt. Yeah. Baby. What? Nothing is going to happen to me. You have to believe that. Okay. Well, come on now, you... Darling, this is our last day. Let's not ruin it. Oh! Marriage would just ruin our day. Well, arguing about it would. Well, it's just, you know... What? I want to have a baby. You know, I want to get married and have a baby. And you, you got to get married and then you have the baby. If we don't get married, we can't have the baby. And I want to have a baby. So laugh at me. I'm waiting. in such a rush. I just don't want to miss anything. Well, what, what are we going to miss? You know those people, they wear those t-shirts. They wear them all the time. It says, I forgot to have a baby. Oh, them. oh that. I didn't, oh, why didn't you say so? Listen, I, I, will, I will remind you to have a baby. It's something I don't intend to forget. So I guess we can just keep trying. Well, I think what well, we should pretend that we're trying. Pretend. Well, I mean, you know, wh what is the rush? I don't, you know, I don't... We don't have to rush. Okay. You're right. I'm fine. I mean, I'm gonna do... Look, sometimes it's just not so easy. All right? I understand. I'm sorry. 
I'm not doing a good job of dealing with this. But I know I can take your mind off it if you give me a chance. You can try. It'll be cake. Hard to get, are we? Okay. I'm gonna break up the heavy ammunition if you start the <laughs> Oh, there we go. We got a smile out of her.